All right, well, let's check out the map. We've got something right next to me. What is it? Is that? I guess it's just what it was, was a map of the area. Tells me where emergency exits are. It looks like there's something over back where I came from. Probably nothing over here, but if there's any soldiers left alive, I want to make sure that they're not alive. Actually, this is where I came from, isn't it? So never mind. I am uh, thinking that I came from somewhere else entirely when I did not. Alright, so into the hall and take a turn to the left. This is a lot more ominous compared to the hospital that was in the 2009 version. But hey, that was trying to be campy. This is just, uh... slightly overwhelming in compare. Alright, should be right around the corner here. I've been here before. Have I? Someone was showering me? Huh. So how does this work exactly? I didn't really get a good... Ah. Ah, I see how that works. Shotgun shells? Jeez. Armor upgrade. Found an armor upgrade. We'll add an additional 10% armor points from all armor pickups. Armor upgrade is permanent and will not be reset between chapters. Nice. So it looks like there's only one piece of gold, one letter, and one enigma code here. So this is going to be a short chapter. That really sounded like she was afraid of something. Hopefully we can manage to save Anya before something truly horrendous happens. Alright, um... Can I get through to this area, or am I stuck jumping down that way? I think I'm stuck jumping down that way. Is this a... Uh, where is this putting me? This is putting me here. There's something next to me? Maybe right here. What? Oh. Damn it. Where did my knife go? Fuck. This is the exit. Motorized lock. From where does it open? Fuck you. Just trying to be quiet. I don't know where my knife went. I tried to toss it at him, but it went by. Ah! It's stuck. Can I? I don't want the door. Damn it. I want that. Alright, whatever. Probably find a knife somewhere else. It's fine. It's 
obviously the way out. I'm not ready for that, though. So, what is here? I don't even know. There's obviously something there, but... Can I break these? That's what it is. It's under the stairs. Okay. It's here. It opens from the other side. So how do I open it? Do I shoot it? Is there anything explosive back there? Can't see what that is. It's a lock or something? I don't think I'm doing anything to this. There we go. Alright, let's see what this letter is. This is probably going to be another long one, so uh, sit in for the long haul to dear Ivan or Yvonne, something like that. I will not be so presumptuous as to believe you will remember me. My name is Isabella uh, Burkowski, and we grew up in the same city on the border between Germany and Poland. In those days, you lived with your parents in the Frankfurt under Oder, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, and I lived on the other side of the river in uh, Damvorstadt. Probably also wrong. <laughs> Can I click down though? Uh, what stirred me to write you was that I saw your movie The Gifts of Our Fatherland yesterday and I was overcome by emotions. Do you remember how we used to swim together in the Oder River? After school, how you always made me laugh with the characters you played. You were always so theatrical, so playful. I should have known you'd become an actress, I guess. You remember how I moved away from home to study chemistry? Well, after the war, I couldn't get a job at the university because all the positions were taken by the Germans. My parents had passed away, and it was by pure chance I met a sweet couple up the coast. They told me about their asylum for the mentally ill, and the woman, who is a pharmacist, offered me a job as her assistant. Her name is Rosa Olawa, and she treats me well. She and her husband, uh, Christoph, are remarkable people. I've been very fortunate. Nearly 13 years have I worked here now. I've even become very good friends with their daughter, Anya, who also works here as a nurse. Sometimes we go to the movies together. And there's blood on the end of this note. The Alawas have been faced to, or forced to work for a German commander called Death's Head. Sometimes his men come and take patients away. If they come back, they're never the same again. I feel so awful for them. Anyway, if you happen to pass by here, I would be honored to have you as my guest. Maybe I can cook you dinner, and we can share a bottle of wine and talk about the old times. I live by myself. I never married or had kids. These days in a small house by the coastline. It's windy, but beautiful here. You'll find the address on the back of the envelope. Yours truly, Isabella. I don't think she's alive anymore, sadly. Alright, so a code and uh, some gold. Alright, uh, Mystery Man Rescued by Matawai's Fisherman. Warsaw, August 27th, 1946. A fishing boat today rescued a man floating on a piece of wood in the Baltic Sea. 
The man was taken to a hospital in the Matawais, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, where his condition was stabilized. Doctors say the man has suffered extensive head trauma and is unresponsive to outside stimulus. The unidentified man will be transferred to the Zaktad Psychiatry I can't pronounce that properly. I'm not Polish enough for this, <laughs> for psychiatric treatment. I may, whoops, I may have a Polish lineage, but come on. I don't know that much Polish. All right. Looks like there's more over here, too. And I think that first one was about uh, Blaskowitz over here. 1956? Whoa, a lot of time has gone by. Wow, uh, this is uh, this is certainly quite a difference in time here. All right, uh, family business, December 19, 19th, 1956. Established by Dr. Fren Francisic Alawa. I don't know. Uh, we'll just call him Francis. In 1824, the Zachtel, whatever, it's a psychiatry clinic, uh, has long been a haven for people suffering mental afflictions. In a revealing interview, the current director of the establishment, Dr. Christoph Alawa, speaks about the trying years during the war and how he was helped by General Wilhelm Strauss to get his business back on its feet. I would not be here today if it wasn't for General Strauss, said the doctor when greeting us on the asylum courtyard. I have a feeling that he was saying that under duress. Very much doubt that he would say that uh, willingly. All right. Now, what I was seeing was on these stairs, I believe. Or the area I was seeing, anyway. Found the shotgun. Double barreled shotgun. Where is that? Yes. I think I'll be using this since I don't have any stealth kind of weapons right now. So it's up these stairs a bit more. Well, found the Enigma code. Which means all that's left is some gold. And I doubt that I'm going to find that one. What I would like to find right now is a knife to replace the one that I uh, lost. Oh, it was possible to go this way? I didn't even know. I thought I could only go down this way. I didn't realize that this was over here. So I could have used this shotgun against someone. There was a secondary knife up here somewhere. Since I can't take that one downstairs, I want to take the one that's up here. Just need to figure out where it was. Oop. There we go. Alright, so now I have a knife. I don't know where this gold could be. This place is awfully small. I haven't really searched this area, so maybe it's... No, that's... I feel like that's where I came from. I don't really have to be sneaky right now. Yeah, I didn't think it would be in here. That is some really creepy music, though. Music is quite well done in here so far. I feel like I want to search around, but I don't want to put you guys through me trying to see if I can find this thing for very long. Is that some kind of spoon? That's not a golden spoon, is it? No, there's multiple spoons that look like that. 
Hmm. You know what I might do is uh, just look around off camera for a bit and see if I can't uh, uncover something by doing so. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. We'll be uh, right back in a bit here. Well, I've looked around for a bit and I haven't really seen anything. Well, I'll tell you what I did notice. While uh, Fraps is not recording, this game does not lag whatsoever. So I am guessing that has something... This whole laggy issue has something to do with me recording this. I did find this thing, but I don't know what that could be. Well, as far as I know, they know that I'm here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and see how wonderful this gun is, or if it is. Seems pretty wonderful. I like it. It'd be better if I could aim it properly, though. Certainly a nice shotgun, though. I didn't get him through the wall there. There's a lot of people out here, isn't there? Uh, you keep using that wall as cover. See how well that does for you. up having uh, full ammunition in a second here. Certainly a very helpful gun. I like it. I don't think I would use it in most situations. It looks like there might be a little more to this level, so it's possible that uh, the gold that I'm looking for is not even where I've been looking for it. it sounds like they're it's possibly someone out here. Shit. Looks like they stuffed her in the trunk there. Feel like a farmer guarding his place. <laughs> oh, shotgun. How many people are out here anyway? Get fucked. 